This is a good question. I get this not infrequently. And this um, question has to do with Dr. Tennant and um, one of his devices. Um, Dr. Jerry Tennant uses a device called an Avasia. Uh, he's ha he has a whole comprehensive approach to, uh, to dealing with um, to using his system. The Avasia is based on a device called a Skenar, S-C-E-N-A-R. And I have an Avasia device and I've used it. Avasia is basically electrical stimulation. Now, when you have electrical stimulation, you have electromagnetic stimulation, but there's a difference between the two. And that difference is that electrical stimulation is applying current to the tissue. So in a sense, it's a form of electrocution but it's controlled electrocution. So you're actually doing electrical stimulation directly. You're taking an electrical wire, a coil, through an electrode, applying it directly to the skin. That's called capacitatively coupled electrical stimulation. So PEMFs stimulate, cause current production in the body. And essentially what they're doing is they're um, doing inductively coupled. So they're causing the body to produce the current. They're not, um, they're not introducing current into the body, they're causing the body to produce the current. So it's a very natural approach to having electrical charge, in, increased electrical charge in the body. The Avasia is like that, is putting the charge into the body. It still is very effective, but it's uncomfortable. You have to go to somebody typically to use it, you can do it yourself, but it doesn't heal deep. It doesn't stimulate the individual cells. So one of the things I learned early on with magnetic field therapy is that um, acupuncture works indirectly. You put, a needle here, you put a needle into your hand and you get an indirect effect on the rest of the body. That's good because it does help with healing in general, sort of generally helping to improve the vitality of the body and stimulating the brain and, and other organs indirectly through parasympathetic and sympathetic balancing and so on. There's, there are a number of mechanisms. But the difference between PEMF therapy and acupuncture and the electrical stimulation therapies is that you're treating the cell directly. So when the magnetic field goes into the tissues, it goes right through the tissues, goes right through the body completely, goes completely through the body. The body doesn't stop a magnetic field. Electrical stim is stopped at the tissue. It doesn't go deep at all. If you want it to go deep into the body, you have to increase the intensity. And if you increase the intensity, you increase the risk of burning tissues and electrical fields are used actually to burn warts and scars and lesions and so on we actually use them medically therapeutically on purpose to burn the tissue but you don't have to worry about that with magnetic field therapy it goes right on through and as it's going through it's increasing charge in the body and that increase in charge and ATP plus all the other actions that magnetic fields have cause uh, healing to happen in the in the, in the body all right, so that's why it's important. That's why it's also safer to use around the brain. There are electrical stimulation systems, including implanting stimulation devices into the brain for Parkinson's and other diseases. Well, that's invasive and it causes problems. It causes damage by itself. Magnetic field therapy doesn't have that problem because it goes right through the brain. It doesn't stay in the brain, it goes right through, all the way through. And it increases charge in the brain tissues themselves directly. So it, that becomes very safe, and um, that's why I recommend it compared to the tenant machine. Now, again, it's a personal choice. Tenant therapies work very well for many people, and they're very local in their therapies. So I personally believe that I've tried many different devices. I've looked at many different devices. I've purchased many devices. I've done many different types of therapies, and when I've compared all of these therapies, they all have a value. And combining magnetic field therapy with other therapies produces often more benefit than any one individually. But if you're going to spend $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 more on a magnetic therapy system, then you have a lot, much wider range of possible uses for that system to help you than most of these other therapies. So the value factor for PEMF therapy is much better than, than the value factor for most other therapies. They tend to be very siloed in what they do. So that's why I, as a physician, have basically determined that if I'm going to 
uh, try to provide the most value, the most benefit for the most people, for the most problems, that PEMF therapy is going to do that the best in general. It's not the only solution, obviously, and we do compare things, we do combine things. So for example, ozone therapy. PEMF therapy is very, very helpful with ozone therapy. Ozone therapy and PEMF therapy alone don't do as well as the two combined. So the same thing happens with light therapies, the same thing happens with uh, nutritional therapies and so on. So combining them is effective. But if you're gonna, if you have limited funds, you're gonna get the most mileage out of your PEMF system. 